Stone and Jody McDonald here with you on Birds 365. Thanks for streaming on in with us. If you want to hit the like button, we won't tell you not to. You can show uh, your your guys some love here if you so desire. We got an hour or less than an hour now, 55 minutes left to play with you today. And Rob Ellis is going to jump in in about uh, 15 minutes or so. Uh, always like talking it up with Robbie E. from the Sports Take and the Eagles uh, postgame show on their radio network. Uh, Johnny Mac did want to get your thoughts on this. Eagles made a front office addition yesterday. Adam Berry is coming to the Philadelphia Eagles, not to be confused with his brother, Andrew Berry, who defected the Eagles last year to go to the Browns and become uh, their general manager. Um, I guess he's going to be in the uh, business side of things coming in from Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs, yeah. Do you think uh-huh. the Empire State Building going to the green lights was the sign for Adam Berry to come to Philadelphia and help the Eagles going forward in their front office? Um, yeah, I, I yeah, they're they're twins, by the way, uh, Adam and Andrew. Um, yeah, I, I mean, the Eagles have always been sort of um, forward thinking when it comes to both the business side of things and uh, the analytics side of things. They've always been sort of one of the leaders in the league when it comes to that aspect. I think the latter is more important when it comes to the football side, which is what uh, fans are generally more interested in. Um, Judging, just judging by his history, I would think, you know, he's going to be more of a, a business guy, but it might be analytics. So we're just going to have to wait and see how that shakes out. I think it's the only reason it's news is because of his brother, brother obviously. Sure. Um, but we got to see what, you know, what he's going to do and, and what his job responsibility is. But I think this is more of a, obviously Andrew was, you know, executive vice president of football operations. He was a big, he was here for a short time, but it was a big part of, of the organization, this is a more, you know, lower level hire. But that's just uh, another thing. And, and I just mentioned in passing, because I think it's unique that they're hiring a former head of football operations twin brother to come in. And uh, it, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what position he holds down. But it allowed me to say, I guess they got over losing uh, his twin brother and all the other executives that the Eagles lost last year you and i did like weeks of uh uh-oh the eagles lose another executive i can't i can't be happy about the fact that this executive is left to take a job elsewhere it was some legit concern that we're worried about the eagles coaching staff being rated this offseason hasn't happened yet last year the eagles front office staff got rated pretty good they lost a bunch of people and yet here they are in the super bowl so that again shows strength of the organization I know I kind of made fun of Jeff Flory um, a couple of years ago when in one of his very rare public speaking appearances about the Eagles said, yeah, and we're a general manager factory too. We've got three or four or five guys yeah. in the front office who can be general managers. Well, he was right. They yeah, did. No, they had a was. bunch of people leave the organization for better gigs. And by the way, uh, Ian Cunningham and, and Brandon Brown, two of those guys, got GM interviews this offseason. So they are getting their assistant GMs. They're getting uh, a lot closer um, to, you know, proving Jeffrey Laurie correct. Uh, but I, I, I think, you know, that's still to be determined, uh, to be honest. Those um, – losses um because you know we we always talk about the calendar in the nfl and the you know the off season howie season versus nick season we're still in nick season by the way the senior bowl is going on right now thankfully we're not talking about it um you know most teams are focused in on the senior bowl and trying to get ready for the draft and we're going to get to all that stuff but we get to kick it down the road for a little bit Eagles still got to do, you know, juggle both balls, but um, they're, they're on different calendars. So, you know, the Eagles were upset about, especially Brandon, because, you know, he went to the giants and the giants are trying to tap into the way the Eagles do business and all that kind of stuff, division rival, Uh, but Ian as well. 
and Catherine Raish and and you know who went out she was very close to Andrew Berry she went out to Cleveland um so they lost a lot of of front office talent and how we kind of used it to reset the organization um and and he hired he gave out he you know one of the problems he never gave out that assistant gm tag never you know titles it's more about responsibilities i always joke but titles are very important to people yeah they are um and he never gave it out and he lost guys maybe perhaps because he never wanted to give it out so he finally gave it out and he gave it to Alec Hallaby, who was the analytics guy, and he gave it to uh, John Ferrari, who is the football ops guy. He's like the rules guy. He's like, you know, all the machinations with the NFL, all the behind the scenes stuff. He didn't give it to a football guy. Nope. So I still think it's to be determined how that new system is shaken out. We'll get to see it this year for the first time in the lead up for the draft. Now they still have plenty of football guys in there, but they're, you know, they also less, I should have brought up Andy Weidel first. Uh, they lost him because, you know, he didn't want to give Andy the assistant GM title, which he got in Pittsburgh. Um, but he gave it to Alec Hallaby and John Ferrari. So I, you know, they survived, but they survived on the work of those guys more than more than this this new group will you you will see their fingerprints this year, not last year, this year upcoming. Well, is what I'm trying to say. For the most part, yeah, certainly up to the draft. But you gotta give those who stepped in some credit because the Bradbury signing was way after the draft. That was well, after yeah, all but, those executives had made their moves to other teams. Certainly the uh, Gardner Johnson was right before the season started and any of those in-season acquisitions for the stopping the run defensive tackles they got, that was the new Eagle front office. Um, they, they, there's, there's some examples of the fact that the guys they now have in place are ready to get the job done and have already gotten the job. Done. Well, I, and I give Howie credit for that. I mean, one right. of the things, the concern, I, I have to look it up. I, I don't even think they have a, a pro scouting guy right now with that title. Um, and I'm trying to think they have Dave Caldwell, you know, who is a former GM and he's a, a advisor to Howie and Matt Russell's a former GM who's an advisor to Howie, but they, they're not in the building day to day. Um, then it would be Anthony patch. I I'm, I'm trying to look this up, but Anthony patch is the uh, director of college scouting. Then I have Brandon hunt who's director of scouting. Um, and they're like the top two sort of Andy Weidel people. Mm -hmm. uh, best I could describe it. Um, and then Max Gruder, director of pro scouting, which would be more of the um, Bradbury, Chauncey Gardner. But that's Howie, man. What Howie did, here's what I'm trying to say. Howie, it's all on Howie now. Like there's no, there's no, uh, oh, give Joe Douglas credit. Give, give, give. Andrew Berry credit. It's all on Howie. All on Howie and he yep. made it that way. So long term, look, I'm I said all the time. I've been I've I've said for years this is a top 10 general manager in the NFL. Now it's evident he's top five. He's the top GM in the NFL this year. No doubt about it. I voted for him. Pro football writers executive of the year. He won it. He deserved to win it. But this is all on him, not only this year, moving forward. It's all on him. He set it up that way on purpose. Yeah, they didn't They didn't go overboard in hiring new people to replace those that they lost. Howie took on a bigger chunk of the responsibility. And guess what? Early results are in. 
damn good job, Howie. Congratulations on your Executive of the Year award. That's uh, impressive. All right. And yes, the Eagles need to be impressive against Kansas City Chiefs. They are a one and a half point favorite in the game that is now 11 days down the road. Can't get here fast enough. Um, we'll continue to talk about it, John and myself, and we'll get a helping hand. Rob Ellis, who you see right here on the Jacob Media YouTube channel in the afternoons with Derek Gunn and uh, Barrett Brooks on Sports Take. Uh, if you're an Eagles or radio listener coming out of the games, uh, put it on in the car afterwards. You get them on the Eagles post game show on the Eagles radio network. Looking forward to shooting a breeze with uh, Rob Ellis. He'll join us 